Okay, well, we are gonna do the offertory next, and that is gonna be actually um, Mitch coming in and starting his singing. So come on up, you guys. Let me introduce them as they come up. Um, of course, Mitch has been around for a very long time, is, is known in these parts uh, as a the real kind of uh, symbol of Appalachian singing and storytelling and is carrying the tradition on, uh, thankfully. Uh, Melody and he met several years ago at a songwriting conference, and um, she is also a singer-songwriter and just cut her first album out in Oregon this summer, and they've got a few to sell uh, today after the service. But um, it's wonderful now that they're playing together and sharing their expertise. And um, as you saw, I said, Mitch, what do you want this to be called? And what do you want me to say? He said, oh, whatever. So songs from the heart, because that's the kind of people they are. Their music is very heartfelt. And um, for those of you who haven't heard them yet, you're in for a real treat. And you're all the rest of you are here because you want to hear them again. So some of our favorite people. And thank you for being here today. So as they... Um, when they get started here, we're going to send the plate around, and if you can donate to our group, uh, please do. Okay? Anything else you want to say before you start, Mitch? No. No, you don't. <laughs> I'll say a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> Money's our God. I want a new religion. different places last night so we'll try to hook back 
back up. I started to say mesh, but that's bad, isn't it? According to my therapist. <clears throat> what would be that word? Uh, intertwine. I'm thinking more of like spaceships connect. That's not good either. This is an old uh, Carter family tune. Get my new house done Sail away ladies Sail away Ain't gonna give the old one To my son Sail away ladies Sail away Don't you rock em, daddy oh. Don't you rock em, daddy oh. Don't you rock em, daddy oh. Sail away ladies Sail away Come on, children, won't you go with me? Sail away, ladies, sail away. We're going back to Tennessee. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Don't you rock em, daddy-o. Don't you rock em, daddy-o. Don't you rock em, daddy-o. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Come on, children, don't you weep and cry. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Well, I'll be angels by and by. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Don't you rock em, daddy oh. Don't you rock em, daddy oh. Don't you rock em, daddy oh. Sail away, ladies, sail away. If ever I get my new house done, sail away, ladies, sail away, gonna give the old one to my son. Sail away, ladies, sail away. I love the sound of a banjo, but they're temperamental. Most banjos, most banjo playing is like a lot of tuning. That's why there are a lot of banjo jokes. You know what perfect pitch is? It's when you pitch a banjo in a dumpster and you don't hit the sides. <laughs> I used to know a bunch of them, but I offended a bunch of banjo players. I realized that when you go out west, nobody has any jokes but banjo jokes. Like, they all just make banjo jokes. It's like their only stage presence is, I'm going to make fun of banjo. <laughs> song came, um, the first part of it just came to me years ago and I was just watching um, one of my daughters and just the frustration she was feeling and I was trying to write about it and I just wrote this little piece and dropped it for a long time and then uh, Melody and I revisited that little, or we were playing with something and I pulled that little thing out and it turned into what I it's on the new record, too. It's a beautiful song called True Love, Don't Weep. Okay, come on, fingers, wake up. Mm -hmm. 
True love don't weep, true love don't mourn. You got him in the heart when the heart gets torn. When the heart gets torn, I see. Go over to the window and stand right there. I want to see the sunlight in your hair. True love don't weep, true love don't mourn. You got him in the heart when the heart gets torn. When the heart gets torn. I see you, I hope you see me too. Well, bless your heart and hush your mouth. We got plenty of time to figure this out. True love don't weep, true love don't mourn. You got him in the heart when the heart gets torn. When the heart gets torn. Just put your capo on your third fret for a Dope. second. And then play Sail Away Lady. <laughs> no, never mind. Got it. Second fret? No? Okay. You got one? Mm -mm. No? Oh, no. Yeah, let's sing. Uh, um, love is born in fire, planted like a seed. Love can't give you everything, but it gives you what you need. All right. You want to play? No, you can play. You play that. I'll sing it. Where do we Where do we play this at? Uh, fifth or fourth. I sing it on the fifth. Okay. What are the words? <laughs> <laughs> kind friends all gather around. <clears throat> this is a Kate Wolf song. Kind friends all gather around. There's something I must say. What brings us together here? Has blessed us all today. Love, Love has made a circle that holds us all inside. Strangers are as family, and loneliness can't hide. Won't you give yourself to love? If love is what you're after, open up your heart to the tears and the laughter. Won't you give yourself to love? Give yourself to love. I've walked these mountains in the rain and learned to love the wind. I've been up before the sunrise to watch the day begin. And I always knew I'd find you, though I never did know how. Like sunshine on a cloudy day, stand before me now. Give yourself to love. If love is what you're after, open up your heart to the tears and the laughter. Won't you give yourself to love? 
give yourself to love. Love is born in fire, it's planted like a seed. Love can't give you everything, but it gives you what you need. Love comes when you're ready, love comes when you're afraid. It'll be your greatest teacher, the best friend you ever made. Won't you give yourself to love, if love is what you're after. Open up your heart to the tears and the laughter. Won't you give yourself to love? Give yourself to love, oh, won't, won't you give yourself to love? Give yourself to love. Josephine? Sure. I was trying to, before any gig, instead of making a song list the night before, I lay in bed and think, what am I taking to this? I don't think of songs, I think of emotion. That's actually how I remember songs that I wrote 20 years ago. It's like, well, what was the emotion I had? And, uh, and I can, somehow my brain will recall the words mm -hmm. as I'm singing. <laughs> Which is a cool experience. Except for with one song. Except for one song. One song we wrote. He just needs the lyrics every time. <laughs> Sometimes you write a song and the pain is still fresh and you just, you, get, you can't sing it, you get lost feeling it. Okay. Is that what I mean? <laughs> That's pretty much a dead giveaway, honey, if we're singing this song next. <laughs> I did not. This is also on the new album. Mitch and I recorded a lot together on this album. We've recorded all the songs we've written together. Special treat. Where are you going and what's watch your plan? Why you look so mean? Having troubles with your old man? Step back and look at your style. You used to carry a smile. Where's it gone? Hey, Josephine There's some rumors going round Where's the mercy in your scheme? Is this how it's going down? Just be you. One, two, 
one Take care of yourself too It ain't all about you and three We all need a little help now To breathe and sing Hey Josephine If you're sure then just go on Baby, won't you leave? It's so hard to get back home. Hey, Josephine. Hey, Josephine. Hey, Josephine. Where are you going with that gun in your hand? What's your plan? Yeah, something like that. Oh. Okay. Um, this is another one that I haven't taken to heart yet, but I wrote this with um, fifth graders in Wolf County. No, not Wolf County. Stanton, Kentucky. And we didn't know it. They may have knew it, but I didn't know it. It was Earth Day, but it didn't dawn on me till the next day, and I was like, you guys realize we wrote this song on Earth Day? <laughs> so it goes like. We all live on a little blue pearl floating around the sun. There's nowhere to go. This is our world. This, this is, is the, the only one. one. We've looked all around the universe Seeking to find a new earth It's all dark matter and it really doesn't matter We're all stardust at birth Somebody send out an SOS We need a guardian angel now St. Peter's stuck at the traffic light Gabriel, won't you blow your horn loud? Somebody call 911 We've fallen and we can't get up Houston, we have a problem. I think the earth has had enough. So here we are, you and I, along with everything that breathes. It's a big, big world and a little bitty us, but we got everything we need. Okay, 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 you say, but what are we supposed to do? Can somebody answer this question, please? Does anybody have a clue? Somebody send out an SOS. We need a guardian angel now. St. Peter's stuck at the traffic light. Gabriel, won't you blow your horn loud? Somebody call 911. We've fallen and we can't get up. Houston, we have a problem. I think the earth has had enough. We didn't heed the warning. Now the time has come to choose. The future's in our hands, still time to change the plan. There's way too much left to lose. I think I'll go out to my garden. Growing food is good for my health. Somebody once said, and it's stuck in my head, if you want to change the world, change yourself. Somebody once said, and it's stuck in my head, if you want to change the world, change yourself. Somebody send out an SOS, we need a guardian angel now. St. Peter's stuck at the traffic light, Gabriel, won't you blow your horn loud? Somebody call 911, we've fallen and we can't get up. Houston, we have a problem. I think the earth has had enough. Mm -hmm. I think the earth has had enough. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, 
Um, well, actually, I probably had a stronger hand in that one, but we'd just written one. It had taken us a week to write one about their hometown. And um, I started out by just, it's a theme I use a lot, my hometown or the place I come from. And I talk about songwriting, kind of play some of my songs, talk about where they came from. And then we just play with words. And, and I keep stressing that story is the most important thing, that anybody can rhyme. And if the story's no good, the rhyme doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, there's ooh baby, ooh baby songs, but you know, and those are good, but for what they're for. But trying to get them to tell the story and um, we do it on a chalkboard and it's a group effort. And each class is writing this one song. So I may see five classes, but each class, the first class that comes in starts this thing. And then the second class adds to it, the third class. And then they come in the next day and they're like, wow, it's turning into it. And then they get really excited. And, um, it's a good process because you see that songwriting is actually hard work, sometimes it's even frustrating and painful. Um, but then when it starts to happen, it's as if the song is already written. I, I tell the kids it's like God gives me the punchline to a joke and I have to write the joke. So, so you'll, you'll find this phrase or something and then write around it. It's a lot of fun. Where'd this song come from? <laughs> this is a song I wrote the first time I picked up a banjo. <clears throat> I've never really learned. That's not true. I'm apprenticing with a woman named Sue Massick. Some of you might know. She's a real world string band master banjo player, and she's teaching me a little bit. Um, basically, really all I've learned is drop them. It's really cool. But I picked up the banjo and wrote this song when I was, uh, it's been almost nine years this man and I have been together. So I wrote it about six years ago. Using uh, 
the skeleton of an old song, especially one that was considered traditional music, because then you don't have to pay any royalties. So I played them Shady Grove, you know, and the traditional one is Shady Grove, my true love, Shady Grove, my darling, Shady Grove, my little love, I'm going back too hard. Then I sang the verse, you know. I wish I had a big fine horse, corn to feed him on, and a pretty little girl to stay at home, feed him when I'm gone. And the girls were like, what? <laughs> you want me to stay at home and feed your horse while you run around the country playing your banjo? I don't think so. So we tore it apart and decided to make it uh, have more content. So we made it about this interracial couple. Shady Grove, my darling, Shady Grove, my little love, I'm going back to Harlan. First time I seen Shady Grove was at my poppy store, standing around back with her old man, they couldn't come in the front door. Shady Grove, my true love, Shady Grove, my darling, Shady Grove, my little love, I'm going back to Harlan. Hair as black as the blackest crow, skin and coffee brown. Meet you where the pine trees grow after the southern sun goes down. Shady Grove, my true love. Shady Grove, my darling. Shady Grove, my little love. I'm going back to Harlem. I wish I was in some northern town I wish I was able To take you to my mama's house And sit you at her table Shady Grove, my true love Shady Grove, my daisy Shady Grove, my little love You almost drive me crazy In the shadow of a hooded man Says God's on his side He says I'll bring the wrath on me If I take you for my bride Our love is stronger than all of his hate Shady put on your gown His skin's white like a diamond shines But his heart's black like the coal in the ground Heart black like the coal in the ground Shady Grove, my true love Shady Grove, my darling Shady Grove, my little love, I'm going back to Harlem, yeah. Shady Grove, my true love, Shady Grove, I say. Shady Grove, my little love, wait till the judgment. This is another one that we recorded together. It's a song I wrote called Sweet Isolation. We didn't have an ending verse, so when Mitch and I were driving through, we were in Oregon, where my family is, and it was uh, in August, all of August, and it was when all of Oregon was completely on fire. So we were driving and traveling, doing a lot of traveling uh, from the desert to the valley, and um, there was lots of smoke, really a lot of smoke. Ooh, that sounded like Donald Trump. <laughs> really, a lot, a lot of smoke. <laughs> it was freaky. <laughs> it was huge. <laughs> um, so Mitch and I worked on the last verse. We came up with the last verse, and it seems very fitting. But this song's called Sweet Isolation, and it's the title track to the new album.
Sweet isolation, sweet isolation, you're my refuge. Sweet isolation, sweet isolation, you're my refuge. When the night settles in and the dark it settles down over the mountain I'll be hiding something of my sleeve alone yet content Sweet isolation Sweet isolation hear my prayer Isolation, hear my prayer. The entitled they reek of pestilence and greed. Give me the knowledge I seek to overcome and accept. This is the way it's gonna be. Sweet isolation. Sweet isolation, oh, prepare me. Sweet, Sweet isolation. isolation. Sweet isolation, oh, prepare me. I reopen the wounds alone in a crowded room. I hear them whisper ugly lies sweet isolation till it heals sweet isolation sweet isolation till it heals Anybody got any questions or comments? Yes. This is the reason you tell banjo jokes because you can't play them. <laughs> Actually, he really can. He, that's the weird thing, is like he he's always like banjos. And I'm, everybody is, you know, it's so hard to like get them, you have to like tune to everybody, I mean, when someone's playing a song, you have to tune it to all these different tunings if you don't want to put a capo on. But he can play the banjo like a monster, he can just pick it up and like write ten songs on a banjo in a day, it's pretty ridiculous. I, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, but it sounds so much better when you don't know what you're doing. When you're trying to figure out how to do it, it's like... My grandfather played every night in our home. He never played in public his whole life. He just played for himself. Um, this is a song about my yard. <laughs> Outside in my front yard, I've got a plastic rooster and a Noah's Ark. Camel bells from a foreign land. Crystal ball on a terracotta stand. Jesus cross is hanging in the trees to bed and prayer flags blowing in the breeze. Rub my lucky yard, no as you walk past. My concrete Buddha laughing in the grass. Wipe your feet before you step from your car. You're on hallowed ground. You're in my sacred yard. Holy water in the bird about to wash your sins. Now you're forgiven. Come on in. Got a silver star of David, a stained glass moon, sentimental objects hanging in my room. Everything is sacred, every breath of air. Be careful what you're thinking, every thought's a prayer. It's the ordinary people you talk to every day, incantations and prophecies from the mouths of babes. You can talk about the weather or the food you crave. 
It's the feelings you project, not the words you say. Wipe your feet before you step from your car. You're on hollow ground. You're in my sacred yard. Holy water in the bird, about to wash your sins. Now you're forgiven. Come on in. If you're searching for happiness, try not to look so hard. Take you a lawn chair. Go out in your yard and stare straight up at the sky so blue. Yeah, God's in heaven, but heaven's in you. Wipe your feet before you step from your car. You're on hallowed ground. You're in my sacred yard. Holy water in the bird about to wash your sins. Now you're forgiven. And I'm forgiven. Well, we're all forgiven. Come on in. Come on in. Hi to St. Pete. Wipe your feet. Can you hold this? No. <laughs> Way over there. This is when a lot of feels were happening for the stuff in, uh, in Standing Rock, and Mitch and I were inspired to write a song about what we felt about what was going on. Play through it a couple times. Huh? Play through that a couple times. Let yourself feel it. Get your song, put your hand on your heart, feel your drum. It's coming from the east, it's coming from the west. Find that rhythm deep in your chest. Fiery furnace within our souls. He's forever young, but the flame is old. It's in your blood, it's in your child, deep in the soul of a stranger's smile. In the trees, in the streets, deep in the soil beneath your feet. Fiery furnace within our soul. He's forever young, but the flame is old. Must have been a million years ago We all sit around this fire Sit watch the flames around our faces Oh, sister, can't you feel them going higher? Brother, can't you feel them going higher? It's a call for the wild It's a calling on the wind A call for the souls who've been wandering It's what we know And we know how To hold each other up on the sacred ground It's what, what we know And we know how each other up on the sacred ground fiery furnace within our souls he's forever young but the flame is old let yourself feel it get you some put your hand on your heart and feel your drum Any questions or comments that'll lead us to a song, I bet you. Yes, sir. I'm intrigued by the fact that you go to schools and you teach kids mm -hmm. with something that is just in certain areas, or is this something, do they contact you? I think I have to. Well, I've been doing it for 30 years, so that I do get contacted some by schools, and when we're funded, which we were funded a lot in the past, but not so much now, then there's lots of programs like that. And, and every state has an arts council, so um, some states fund their artists more. Um, Are you still contacting 
I still work with Kentucky Arts Council. Um, but they don't have much of a budget? Make less now than I did eight years ago because of the budgets have been cut. Promise Neighborhood, Berea College had something that was doing a lot of... They were uh, doing some... But a lot of schools just have their own funding for things like that, for arts and education. But, um, yeah, he does week-long residencies, a uh, story-to-song writing program where they all tell the story that they want to start creating, and it's really magical. He's come out with some of, like, his best songs written by children. <laughs> And they're all talking about like what's important to them in their tiny little towns, and it's you pretty special. You guys should know too that um, the arts have been for a good long time, and that made sure all the arts were in the school. And then there was a program review, which was accountability of uh, a different kind, and now there's nothing. So now schools are not wanting to spend any money on the arts because there's only tests in what math, is like English arts, math. That's all they're testing. He's getting ready to get real Debbie Downer. Debbie Downer. <laughs> <laughs> this was written by children, right? This was written by uh, 16 teenage mothers and myself. <clears throat> they were in Pikeville, Kentucky. <clears throat> Quite a long time ago. But like that process of writing, we came up with the verses. I said, you write about what's, what you know. You know, that's the old rule of thumb for writing. Tell the truth and then just sing, sing what you know. So I said, well, write about being a teenage mom. And I said, what's the hardest part? And they said, just feeling so alone. And I said, well, that's kind of the human thing, too. But, uh, and uh, we have to learn how to be alone. I hate it when I say things that make me sound wise, and then, you know, I get, I get hit by the proverbial bus, you know. It's like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Just find some wood. I'm sorry, I'm a storyteller. Um, when I say things, I get lost. I was on top of a mountain one time, in uh, Indian Fort Mountain. Just to warn y'all, if you ever go up there at night, um, there's ghostesses up there. <laughs> I was sitting there one night, and this friend was with me, and and this, it just all of a sudden there was a wall of darkness there, you know, because the sun went down. So you had this beautiful view over the rock, and then behind us, darkness in the woods. And she said, That's, it's so wild how scary it is because we walk in there and we play in there and we run in there. We've played in there since we were kids. And I said, yeah, you just got to learn to <clears throat> respect the fear. And I and ear, when ear come out of my mouth like that, something came from the woods. <laughs> that it was as if somebody had thrown a blanket over us and jerked it away really fast. Now, I've tried to explain it. Okay, an owl came from the woods. I never saw an owl. All I can say is warm energy hit us, and we both, as the, as the word fear come out of my mouth, the next word was Jesus, and I grabbed her, <laughs> and she grabbed me, and I was like, oh, you know, and we just stood there all night. It's like, no, we can't go in there. We can't leave, you know. <laughs> I've never camped there since. I should have told that story on Halloween. I don't have any scary stories. Anyway. The scariest. The girls came up with these verses, and then they were like, this is too, they wanted to abandon the song. I said, it's just too scary. And I mean, it's too sad. And I said, I said, well, that's the cool part. Now we get to write a chorus and we get to mend it all. You know, it's the hero comes in, the chorus. And I, and I told him how I was in a doctor's office waiting and reading one of those medical magazines. And I read where if you read to yourself silently, it goes to one part of your brain. But if you read to yourself out loud, and your brain hears your voice, it goes to another part of your brain. I didn't really read that, I just made that up. <laughs> but they believed me. <laughs> and I told them, we're gonna write a magic chorus and we'll get people to sing along and they'll all receive a healing. So all you gotta do is sing along. Pretty Polly felt so all alone She sang herself a sad song She had no husband or no family So she hang herself in her pity tree You're not so alone You're not really that different 
children Everybody needs someone to hold Their heart, their pain, their forgiveness That's the chorus But you do have to sing it out where your brain hears you singing To get that healing I was talking about she filled herself with lots of things, but inside she felt so empty. She had booze and pills and sweets and dreams. Every night she cried herself to sleep. You're not so alone. You're not really that different. Everybody needs someone to hold. Their heart, their pain, their forgiveness. Did y'all feel that? Over on the other side of town, in a window with no curtains, sat a lonely boy, nay, a clown. He could not hide his hurting. Just the men with your men voices. You're not so alone. You're not really that different. Everybody needs someone to hold. Their heart, their pain, their forgiveness. The place he lived, he paid no rent. The building was abandoned just like him. And the way he fell that night she left him standing last time everybody You're not so alone You're not really that different Everybody needs someone to hold Your heart your pain their forgiveness Oh I forgot to tell you if you look somebody else right in the eye and sing it, you get like a double whammy healing. We'll just fill this room with light. You're not so alone. You're not really that different. Everybody needs someone to hold. Your heart, your pain, your forgiveness. Everybody needs someone to hold Your heart, your pain, your forgiveness <laughs> Okay, how are we doing? Okay, noon Yesterday's time. Oh, Mitch never learned to play the banjo. <laughs> Got made fun of out of you, you church. He went home and he studied the banjo. <laughs> okay. So. All right. So I'm gonna sing a song. It has the words G O D D A M N. Is that okay? Okay. It offends a lot of folks, and I totally get why. But it's you might. Mormon. I was raised Mormon. My well, granny always said never be afraid of words. If they're used right, they have power. I think this one holds some power. I do too. It's called Jesus, Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus, Jesus, could you, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, dang it. Jesus, Jesus, could you tell me what the problem is with the world and all the people in it? Because I've been hearing stories about the end of the world. I'm in love with a girl and I don't want to leave her in the
the television screen such hideous things they're talking about the war on the radio they say the whole thing's gonna blow and we will all be left alone no we'll be dead and we won't know what hit us jesus jesus if you're up there won't you hear me because i've been wondering if you're listening for quite a while but jesus jesus such a pretty place we live in and I know we screwed it up, but please be kind. Don't let us go out like the dinosaurs or blow to bits in a third world war. There are a hundred different things I'd still like to do. I'd like to climb to the top of the Eiffel Tower, look up from the ground at a meteor shower, and maybe even raise a family. Jesus, Jesus, there are those that say they love you, but they have treated me so goddamn mean. And I know you said forgive them, for they know not what they do, but sometimes I think they do, and I think about you. If all the heathens burn in hell, will all their children burn as well? What about the Muslims and the gays and the unwed mothers? What about me and all my friends? Are we all sinners? If we sin, does it even matter in the end if we're unhappy? Jesus, Jesus, could you call me if you have the time? And maybe we could meet for coffee and work it out. Maybe then I'll understand what it's all about. It's on the top of your guitar. That's where most of them put it. <laughs> All right, thank y'all for listening to us, and we do have these CDs, and they're almost free. It's a crazy world we live in, bad news all around. Brothers and sisters, if we're going to make a difference, we're going to have to stand our ground. Be a drop in the bucket, and a bucket in the pond. And the pond fills the river, and the river rushes on. Every river swells a river, until the power can't be stopped. What becomes a mighty ocean, started as a drop. Down in Alabama, a lady boarded a bus. The driver said, you're black, you gotta sit in the back. Rosa said, I've had enough. Yes, yeah, she was a drop in the bucket And a bucket in the pond And the pond fills the river And the river rushes on Every river swells a river Until the power can't be stopped What becomes a mighty ocean Started as a drop Great Britain ruled over India Made them slaves to the goods they bought Till Gandhi took his people to the ocean He said, look, free song Here was a drop in the bucket And a bucket in the pond And the pond fills the river And the river rushes on Every river swells a river Until the power can't be stopped what becomes a mighty ocean started as a drop in the alleys of Calcutta. Mother Teresa lived her life. She did much more than feed the poor. She taught us how to shine our light. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Yeah. This little light of mine. Yeah. I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Cause you're a drop
drop in the bucket and a bucket in the pond and the pond fills the river and the river rushes on every river swells a river until the power can't be stopped what becomes a mighty ocean started as a drop thank y'all very much Thank you so much, so much. And let's just end it there. Come on up and talk and grab some CDs. And thank you so much, you guys. You were fabulous, as always. <laughs>